Gentlemen, I wonder if we can have uh, some of General Lemons's old uh, colleagues come forward. General White, General Bradley, Admiral Radford, I think, is out there. Any other? Uh, oh, General, won't you come? Uh, General Devon, won't you come over here? You want to leave? Come up here, General, and join us. Get any? General Twining. Right. General Twining is. General, General Collins. General Goldie. Let's see. General, uh, well, any other generals there? We're glad to uh, welcome you all, and we're glad to uh, we're glad to uh, have this opportunity to participate in this ceremony. Actually, General Lemons is already is somewhat. Uh, leaning to the left with all the uh, braid that he carries. And, uh, but I'm glad to uh, add another uh, locally cluster to his two distinguished service medals. General uh, Lemon, sir, has had a, an extraordinary career and has held a position of great responsibility. He was highly recommended to me uh, for his character and integrity and uh, ability by General Eisenhower when I assumed uh, my office. The fact that he's been willing to undertake uh, what is the most uh, difficult, sensitive, and in many ways most important command in the United States, which is commander of our forces in Europe, and also uh, the commander of NATO, which means that he uh, serves the, all of our NATO partners as uh, their representative as well as uh, mine. These two hats that he wears uh, are uh, been worn by distinguished uh, officers, but he wears these hats at a very uh, critical time in the life of NATO and in the uh, critical period in the defense of Western Europe and Berlin. So that I am privileged to uh, participate in this award, but I think that the general knows that the even more substantial award is the confidence we all have in him and the confidence that other nations in uh, wishing him to assume his new position at a time when uh, so much of our security depends on his good judgment and so much of the peace. So, uh, general, the you read the citation? I know that all of us uh, take satisfaction in the fact that uh, so distinguished an officer as General Norstad, who has been a great servant for the West, uh, is being succeeded by another distinguished officer. So we're very grateful to him, and we hope that he will be visiting us at the White House shortly. And I'm sure he shares the same satisfaction that you are succeeding him, General.